Hi there, this is a demonstration of a flood fill in 3D because flood fill is either pixels or voxels. Uh, this is 3D and I'm doing 4 million flood filled spaces every second. So I wanted to do film it in a video, so I'll do it really fast. First I'm going to write loads of stuff to RAM. This is 280 images, I'm filling 280 images which basically make up 44 million pixels because it's 3D as voxels. So there's 280 images. I'm going to flood fill it in about 7 seconds, okay? Starting from like 20, okay? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bang, okay? So now it's flood filling. This is doing. Um, recursions this is recursive that's how long it took oh i forgot to film but should be less i can do it again i think it's it says eight on here and when i measured it on my android phone it said 7.6 seconds which is exactly about four million a second um, but in this test with the screen it looks a bit slower let's do it now okay um three four Five, six. Well, yeah, so, so around seven point six, okay, and it's thirty-three million voxels or pixels filled on two hundred and eighty images. What that looks like, I'll show you what it's filling exactly. Well, firstly, I can click on this. It'll slow my graphics down. This is a really scruffy program. I wish it was less scruffy. Um, what it's filling is one of these, which is 280 images in an image stack, okay, and um, I've set the graphics to refresh slowly so the graphics aren't so smooth, and actually what it is is these things, sorry, um, it's on this processor, okay, a 2012 AMD processor, it's 8 core, but it's half as slow as a $200 processor from 2017. So, um, if you've got an i7-770 or an i5-7600, then you can do 8 million a second. That means that you can do about 8 UXGA images in a second or something like that. So this is what I was flood filling. So it can flood fill this kind of complexity in three dimensions. Um, perfectly accurately because I've checked it's very super accurate there's no mistakes because the code is very simple okay so it's doing these doing 280 of these and um, <clears throat> in terms of detail one of them is about like that much detail it's doing 280 of those in seven seconds people on this forum I didn't manage to explain it very well and they thought I was talking nonsense because recursions normally make trees. And what I've done instead of a tree is uh, I've used like a flip-flop of two recursions. So one recursion basically fills the array, uh, an array. And rather than exploding it into a tree, um, it packs it into a grid. This is the first flood fill that I tried just to show I'm serious because the graphics are much slower than the flood fill um, this elephant it looks like it's taking a few seconds but this elephant took like uh, less than one second to flood fill without the graphics um, and then instantiating like one million box uh, like half a million boxes or whatever to illustrate it was actually very slow um, but uh, you can look at this video online it's called something, it's got a bit of code, it might have a bit of code. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah. It eventually it fills the elephant um, flood fill. It was a mesh converted into a voxel. Just so you see, I'm not like faking my results. Like this was the first thing I coded. And um, later it was much more efficient. But yeah, it fills the elephant. I'm not sure what's going on. That's a high resolution version of the same thing. Going much slower. <laughs> I don't know if I, I forgot that was on there. But anyway, um, so you've seen, I can do it again. If you're not convinced, I'm going to go to the executable 
open it from scratch, load all the videos. This is for people who don't believe me that I can do 8 million flood fills per second on an i7 because it's because I've just done a real clever thing. I know it's not been tried before and it's damn fast. So uh, straight Archon, right. So these are the images and uh, you can I can send this to you, you can download it but it's just for processing mesh and it's an alpha version.